Good morning. Today we're here at Big Lots. We're going to check some of their food options, check their shelves, see if their prices are any lower because prices have just been going through the roof lately at the grocery stores. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so I figured I would start from the far end today. Just wanted to show that they are uh, pretty low on laundry detergent. We're seeing this in most value stores like Dollar General, Family Dollar, places like this because they are starting to go really high at some of our major grocery stores like Kroger, Walmart, Target. Um, and this is something that people have been asking about saying they, now we see Tide usually all over the place, which they do have a sale going on at Kroger with Tide right now, but some of the other stuff, they are running pretty low all around the city. While I'm down this way, I did want to point out that Big Lots is a good place for totes. However, they are a little pricey. This one right here, this clear one is $13.50. It does have the grips on it. They do have some of the regular ones down here, probably the cheaper ones. Uh, no price. Uh, we've been seeing these. We, I saw these at Kroger for eight fifty the other day, and I thought that was a little pricey. We saw them at Target for six fifty for the same ones. Another thing that we are seeing less and less of in all of the different value stores around the city is toilet paper and paper towels, because these have kind of been going up. I feel like most people are coming to these stores just for these products. They are pretty much wiped out on toilet paper, except for a few few of them here yeah this is i don't know nice to see one aisle at least to where they have everything for a dollar this is usually the bigs i'm sorry the big lots buys they do have these yoki soba meals that people have asked about some different kinds here only a buck chef boyardee of course they have full-size cans of these at kroger for a dollar a can right now it's been like that for about a month I guess Chef Boyardee's got more than they know what to do with. Uh, they do have these kitchen classics, which you guys know we like. I like the chicken noodle. I don't know about the potato soup, but they're pretty good, especially for a dollar. Some of you guys have had trouble finding shelled peanuts. Well, we've been seeing these Hampton Farms all over the place, um, and only a buck here. I'm going to go ahead and buy a bag, a little extra snack for the Super Bowl. So look what I found. found the Honey Roasted Cashews. They have them at Big Lots, so whoever was asking about these, they got them here. It's the first time I've ever seen them. $14.99, though, for a pretty big size can. Increase in medicines lately, like cold and flu medicines and stuff like that. I will say that they, you know, they didn't have too much the last time I was here, but this is nearly empty. So I don't even know if they're getting this stuff in. It's crazy. I don't know if they're not getting this in or they're just not getting shipments of it. I really don't know. I have no idea. They are very low on all medicine. They used to be really good at keeping this stuff in. I don't know. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, they're down to one thing of Tylenol, a couple things of Advil. Um, very low on cough, cold, and flu stuff. But it is February, so I, I would expect that to be less. I don't know. It's like I try to say in every video, if you see it, if it's something you know you're going to need in the future, go ahead and buy an next one. Uh, you know, I, I never encourage people to buy it all, but buy enough to where you know you're going to get by for a couple months because, you know, I, I don't know. We saw this at a major grocery store before and they got more in, but not as much as they usually do. So I, I just recommend that when you find it, don't even worry too much about the price. Just pick one up. So one thing I just saw on here for a limited time, new bigs. Big Lots reward members receive 15% off your next purchase and receive a reward for every three purchases. All you got to do is scan this QR code. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Um, we're already members, uh, but, you know, it's a pretty good deal if you're not. I want to show they have one box of cheeses. They do have the family size for $4.89, which is right about this. It's $4.99 at Kroger if it's not on sale. And actually, don't quote me on that because that could have already gone up to 529 or whatever it was going up to. I feel like every day a, another store is raising prices. So if I say something and then it's a different price, you know, it's just no real way of telling right now. I feel like I feel like things are going up so fast. It's really hard to keep up with it on a day to day basis. You know, I, I do my best. I noticed these went up. These Parm Crisp here. They were $2.99, now they're $3.19. It's just these prices are going up so fast. Even in some of the the uh, 
value stores like Big Lots, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree. You know, Dollar Tree's going up to the dollar twenty-five thing, and apparently, I've heard that some products will be higher than that. So we're just gonna we're gonna have to keep our eye out on everything. I'm gonna do my best to try and bring the best deals to you. Uh, Big Lots is still worth checking out, but I feel like everyone around the country is going to be a little different. Prices may be higher somewhere else, um, and I feel like these prices could change any minute. Okay, so the last time I was here, they had the six-pack of Butter Lovers Act 2 popcorn for $2.99, and they're up to $3.29. But I remembered they had the 12-packs for $3.99, and now they're $4.99. Plus, I also noticed that the price tags look different than they used to. Some of you were talking about the Folgers Instant Coffee Classic Roast not being able to find it. They do have it here for $5.49. I think that's up 50 cents. I think this was $4.99 the last time. I do know that this Nescafe Classico is, was up from $5.99, so this is $6.49 now. So we did get a few comments about different fruit packs and stuff. Now we have seen that Kroger's and most grocery stores have been wiped out of these. Um, we just haven't been able to find them. Uh, some of you guys with Pop-Tarts too. Now I gotta say we have seen not many problems with Pop-Tarts at the grocery stores. We are seeing some issues here though. Um, now Kroger's had these on sale. I think it was part of the buy five or more, save a dollar on each item deal, which would bring these to $1.49 a box, which if you eat a lot of Pop-Tarts, might be worth a trip to Kroger. The Spice Massacre continues. We are finding low spices all over the city of Cincinnati right now. Um, and we've been hearing more and more from you guys that you've been having trouble finding spices. This is another thing, when you find it, pick it up because uh, we saw at Kroger's that they were wiped out on a lot of the ones that we buy anyway. And um, yeah, it's just, this is crazy. Uh, people are coming to these places now because they can't find them at Kroger. They have too little, not much cooking oil. I don't know, this may be something that they don't really sell much. Uh, 319, uh, 350 for the vegetable oil. That's even cheaper than the Kroger. So that's, that's something cheaper. Uh, here's some of the sunflower and extra ver somebody was asking about sunflower oil. Um, this is expensive though. 11.99. Yeah, that's a little pricey. So Big Lots does have these 25% bigger than the normal, the smaller cans. This is, uh, 13.8 ounces chicken noodle soup, $1.19. I feel like the 19 cent, you know, it's like, it's so hard to, we've seen the regular size cans at Target for 99 cents, and we see them at Kroger for $1.89, but you know, there doesn't seem to be really any sales on them this week, so Target would definitely be the cheaper place, but you do get a little more for the $1.19 here at Big Lots. I did want to show that they have a bunch of the Nor products, not a bunch, but we've been seeing these lower and lower. Their price on them though, $1.29. That is up from a dollar pretty much everywhere. I was wondering when these were gonna go up in price. These have been a dollar for as long as I can remember. $1.19 now. I believe there's still a dollar at Kroger. We'll have to check on that. Okay, so they have condensed their cat food aisle because they haven't been able to get any in. They do have some friskies here and three things of fancy feast. So this may not be the best place for cat food. I am noticing that they are starting to condense some of their aisles. This used to all be cereal. Now it's just this one small section of cereal. Not surprising considering even the major grocery stores can barely get any in. Um, they do have the family size raisin brand for $3.50. That's not a bad deal. Uh, this has been, I think, a little over $4 at Kroger. It's hard to tell because they seem to always have different sales going on with raisin brand. But yeah, this would probably be over $4. We saw that most of their mega size boxes were going up to $5.99, which isn't much more bigger than this. Now, some of you guys who have asked about the kind bars, there are a variety of these. This is all that Big Lots has, but 12 bars for $10, $9.99 seems like a decent deal. We've seen, uh, what is it, five bars, I think, for $5.99. So this is 12 for $9.99, so. A little bit of a better deal. They do have a lot more paper towels than they do toilet paper. I found this other little section of paper towels. They do have these signs up. Everybody wants some because of our recent high demand for paper products. We've had to limit sales to three per customer per day. Thanks for understanding. 
Well, yeah, I can understand because you're not getting much in. So you want to make sure that your normal shoppers are able to get one or two. So I had a request to check out some of the uh, bathing products like soap, lotions, stuff like that. And normally, Big Lots is a good place to get this stuff. Now, you guys have been saying that it's been very low in a lot of places. Well, something we may actually have to keep an eye on in some other places too. Uh, because, yes, this is a lot lower than normal. Uh, it does look like they have some baby wipes. I know this has been an issue too across the country. People have been saying they've been having trouble finding these. It does look like they have plenty of shampoo and stuff like that and different body washes. Um... Now, I don't know. We may have to check like some other places to make sure they're getting it in. I know we usually get ours at Target because it, that's one of them funny deals where it seems like Target is the best for us. But I don't know. Everybody's different and likes our different stuff. So, But they seem like they're pretty stocked on uh, shampoo and stuff. So they do still have some sales on their Nature Valley bars. Now, these ain't the original oats and honey granola. Oh, now here we go. There they are. It's an old packaging, though. That's not the new packaging. Uh, 249 um, which we saw that this was 319 at Meyer the other day they do have some more of these kind bars like this right here six bars for seven dollars and fifty cents you can get 12 of them for ten bucks so yeah you definitely save there somebody had asked about the Atkins shakes now we saw these at the Kroger marketplace uh, I think that might be the last place I saw we may have seen them at Target too but six bucks that's actually a pretty good deal because I think we saw these for $7.99 somewhere else. I can't remember where it was. Um, but one of you guys asked about these, four pack for six bucks. So yes, they are spreading things out pretty much like everywhere else. Because this, a lot of this looks different to me because this was one section. The raisins were down there. They're moving stuff around. Also, this this went up. This was $2.99, now $3.29. Now, I used to get the, I'll have to check at Kroger, but you could get a huge thing of raisins. I think it was like 30 ounces of them for $3.99. I'm curious to see what that price is now. So I found a smaller portion of these honey roasted cashews for $4.99 of the Superior Nut Company. They don't expire until May of next year, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a shot. I'll try them and let you know how they taste. The funny thing is, is I remember now that this was all... This, these were on a different end, the raisins and all that stuff. This was all peanuts. I remember that. Um, so they are selling it or spreading it out somewhere else. But I'll tell you what, they do got some, a uh, lot of different kinds of peanuts, cashews. Uh, and whoever was looking for the honey roasted cashews, this is the only place that I found them. So if you have a big lots near you, check it out. It looks like as far as milk and eggs, you're not going to find any of that here. They don't have any. So more and more of you guys have commented about peanut butter, Jif in particular. They are completely out of Jif. We've been seeing Jif kind of out the door again. Uh, that's another product. When you see it, I recommend buying a couple of them. Uh, you can get two 48 ounce jugs of it at Sam's Club for 10 bucks. Of course, that might have gone up a little bit too, but that is the best deal. Saw that they have the Dole pineapple slices, which $1.69 seems a little high. But I don't know. I haven't seen these around in a while. Some people were asking about them. They do have a little tiny thing of Heinz ketchup, uh, which is actually on sale right now at Kroger for $2.79 with the buy five or more save a dollar deal. And the one at Kroger's 38 ounces, so you get twice as much. Wanted to point out here that they do have a few ramen. Doesn't look like they carry much normally, but it's $1.19 for a five pack. All they do have here is the Swanson chicken broth and beef broth for $2.19. We have seen that this has gone up to $2.79 at Kroger. That's something to think about. Now again, we've been buying the Aldi broth. It's $1.25 for the same amount and arguably just as good or better. So they do have a deal on this Velveeta cheese right now, $2.99. We've been seeing that these have been $3.59 or more at stores. $3.59 I think was Meyer and Kroger. You can see this is what it's going up to though, even higher. 379 is going to be the new price, but they have a tag on it, so that's what they'll give it to you for. Look at this little tiny brick of Velveeta for 449. Now we see that it has gone up. I mean, it's almost $8 for double this, the big one uh, at most stores. It's just funny seeing this this little tiny thing 
for 449. That's I don't know, that's crazy. Uh, if you guys remember when I went to Kroger the other day, I was saying how theirs used to be 59 cents for the Armor Vienna sausages. That's what they are here. 59 cents. These have gone up to 79 cents, I believe it was. 80 cents a can. That's ridiculous. I'll buy the Brookdale from uh, Aldi. Same thing. Tastes exactly um, the same. Yeah, I was going to do my ending outside, and out of nowhere, a bunch of cops rolled up into the complex. And I was like, I am out of here. <laughs> they weren't going to big lots, but it looked like they were looking for somebody. They were driving all around there. So I was like, you know what? Just do the ending here at home. Uh, so here we are. I wanted to show on my way home, I ate about half of these bad boys. <laughs> well, not half, but a good amount. I got to say, these honey roasted cashews that I've never heard of before, these are delicious. These are I don't know. I can see why. I forget who it was, but whoever left the comment, Big Lots is the place to find them. I do not know what size the big can was, um, but I would definitely buy the big can for fifteen bucks. I, I know it's it's expensive, but they're delicious. Cashews in general are expensive. Um, four ninety nine for an eight ounce can. That other can though, I don't know. I want to say it's probably like 32 ounces or so. I'm sure it's worth it. But anyway, yeah, cops rolled in. I don't know what they were doing. I wasn't going to ask. I just left. So anyway, a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, Big Lots is a, an awesome place, right? It may not be the place to grocery shop or even find deals, but it's nice to have options. Um with a lot of stuff leaving the stores or them not being able to get stuff in, it's nice to have somewhere else to be able to maybe find some of those products. One thing I'm noticing with Big Lots is because they don't carry as much food as like a grocery store, um, they have, they're doing a good job of making it look full. But I have noticed walking through there that a lot of items that they're not getting in. They're they're moving the shelves or spreading it out to make it look like they have a lot of stuff. Now, I will say that Big Lots is good for a lot of other things. Um, I did notice, I didn't film any of it, but I did notice that some of the couches and chairs and stuff like that, it does look like that stuff's kind of going up in price. Uh, I saw a chair in there, that I a recliner, that I had thought about buying a while ago, like a year ago. And it was uh, $399. Nice recliner. Um, and the same exact chair, almost a year to the day. I remember I was. it was right after Christmas sometime. It's $599 now. So I don't know, you know, I mean, I assume other things are going up in price too. Uh, with other things that are hard to get. Also, uh, the cost of wood is still really expensive. So... To make new products, you know, I don't know. We, we may have to start looking at some of these things in the future, too. I try to focus mostly on groceries uh, because that's the most important thing in my eyes. We got to eat. And um, always try to find the right deals, not just for us, but obviously for you guys, too. Um, I don't know. The more and more I go to the value stores, the more and more. And you guys have pointed this out in the comments some. And I guess I just never really thought about it was that a lot of these value stores really aren't a better price we've seen that family dollar like family dollars where i used to you know always shop for you know a quick few groceries and stuff and i still do but you know if you're trying to find sales and stuff the only places where i really feel you're going to find the best deals is to look for the deals inside the major grocery chains uh, now, I have visited a couple um, butchers that we frequent around here. And I, I will probably do a video at one of these places eventually. But the prices at some of these, like, little supermarket, mom-and-pop supermarkets, they are very expensive. Very expensive. I went through one the other day. I mean, you know, if you're just talking freezer items and stuff like that, those are through the roof. Now, meat is a little higher than Kroger um, as far at the highest end. I mean at the highest end. They're they're charging $15.99, $16.99 a pound for like 
you know, ribeyes or a decent steak. And, and, you know, I get their meat sometimes just to help out, right? And and it is good. It Arguably better. Um, but it does get expensive. And, and that's in part why I'm always trying to find the best deals for the stuff we're doing here. And um, it's just, I don't know. I thought I'd go into Big Lots and uh, see if, because I, I didn't think that they would have a lot of price raises yet. Not true. Not true. It, it almost looked like everything in there had new tags on it and new prices for everything. A lot of you guys have even been pointing out some of the some of the things that I've been saying, like the 19 cent raises. Well, now that we saw that it was 319, now it's 329. So if you want to talk about something that is just booming off the charts, it's cereal. Cereal, for, for whatever reason, has just gone through the roof. Like, I was looking, when I got back, I was looking at some of the uh, prices and some some of my clips from videos before so that I can kind of, because the price is going up so fast, I just, man, I just, I just lose it. Like, I can't, it's so hard to keep track of it all now because it's all going up so fast. And I, I what caught my eye was cereal. Uh, cereal at Kroger, like a mega size box being $5.99. A large size box being four forty nine. Now, if you're talking in ounces, well, a mega box uh, is you know about a third more than what you would get out of a, a large size. So it's for a dollar. Yeah, the price works out to where it's the same amount. You're not really saving anything. Before you could get a mega box, and it was like you know three ninety nine, and it was like you know you're getting triple what you would. In just a regular box of cereal, regular 10 ounce box of cereal. Not the case nowadays, and I think that's why it's easier for me to notice those kind of prices. Like, like with meat and everything, it's so expensive, it's obvious, you know. Uh, a lot of different, like, microwave meals and stuff that you guys ask about, you know, and different meals, produce, stuff like that. We're, we're noticing produce. It's going, it feels like it's going up 50 cents a pound every week, or every two weeks at least, and or you know, and uh, it's just I don't know. It's getting harder and harder to keep up with it, but at the same time, I'm always jotting little notes down and stuff so that so that we can keep it. You know, I don't know. Eventually, we're gonna have to start, uh, you know, seeking out all the coupons and everything else, which my wife does anyway. But you know, it's it's some things that you can do online, but I always recommend. Finding coupons, you know, I mean, it's it's an extra way that you can save. And seeing how a lot of these value stores aren't a value anymore, these are the extra little things that we're probably going to have to do to try and save a dollar or two. Anyway, I just wanted to have this small little talk with you guys. The uh, honey roasted uh, cashews are fantastic. And um, yeah, uh, you know, Big Lots is good for a lot of other things, toys, um, you know, furniture, uh, odds and ends. You know, we love Big Lots, but yeah, as far as food goes, it's getting pretty expensive. So with all that being said, I thank you so much for joining me today. I'm out, and always remember the adventure. So.